What's going on, Bethel Church? Thank you for joining us today. I really hope that you are encouraged with uh, today's topic. If you haven't gotten a chance last week on Sunday, Pastor Frank preached an amazing message in our Hot Topics series, and it was all about social justice. So if you haven't had a chance to watch it, please make sure you go after this video and then click on that message. It's on our YouTube page and, and you'll see it. It's all about social justice. And um, from his message, I wanted to focus on one of the words he taught about. And he used this Hebrew word called hesed. Now, hesed signifies the love of God, and it's used in the same way as agape is in the Greek. So hesed, what does this mean? Um, there's not a English word that um, encapsulates all of what hesed means, but I want to read to you a little bit about what it means, and it's a loyal love. A hesed love is a loyal love. It's a steadfast love. It's a, a merciful love. It's loving kindness, and it's used throughout the Bible, and it's also represented in the way that Jesus lived his life. And God's hesed love is something that I want to talk to you about today. God loves you. He cares for you. He knows you. And uh, there are a lot of promises of his hesed love for you. And I want to read to you together. We could read this Psalm 23. Um, and it says this, the Lord is my shepherd. Some of you, wherever you're at in life, you just need to be reminded that God is our good shepherd. Jesus is our good shepherd. And there will be times where we lose our direction. There will be times when we keep making the same mistakes. There will be times where we don't know where to go. But praise God that we have a good shepherd. So the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. God helps us lie down in pastures. He leads us by still waters. He restores our soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Verse 6, surely goodness and mercy. That word right there is, is hesed. It's, it's this loving kindness is going to follow me all of the days of my life. And it's this loyal love of God that follows you for now and for all eternity. And as Jesus followers, we get to experience all eternity with God. That is what our future looks like. And it's so easy right now to be worried about our future. It's so easy to lose sight that um, one day we get to spend all eternity with Jesus forever. So our futures, church, it's really, it's really in the hands of God. Our future is taken care of by God because his loving kindness, his loyal love, it follows us. That's the promise of what my future looks like. This is this hesed love that God has for you today. So his love isn't based on you. It's based on who he is. He has a committed love towards you, regardless of how you respond. It's just who he is. God is love and he's committed to you no matter what mistakes you've made, no matter uh, all of the, the different distractions you may have in life, no matter how long you spent in prayer today. It, no, it doesn't matter about what you do. All that matters is who he is. And the Bible tells us that God is love. So he loves you. He's going to love you for all eternity. That is an accurate picture of what your future and my future looks like. So some of you have been worried and um, I know I have, but like when is COVID going to end? What's going to happen with our economy? What is it going to look like for our family? We know people, I'm sure you know people who have been affected by it and um, it, it's really difficult right now and it's really easy to worry. So I want to I want to really focus in on that last verse where, where David uses it to describe his future. And David's understanding of what his future is going to look like, man, it's, it's based on who God is. 
that God is a good shepherd and he's going to lead us. He's going to guide us. He's going to refresh us. He's going to restore our souls and his goodness and, and love and mercy will follow us all of the days of our lives. So today I hope that that verse encourages you and um, Pastor Frank, he actually prayed Psalm 23 over everybody that was watching. And I want to encourage you today. I'm going to pray for you, but I want to encourage you. Um, one of the ways I've studied the Bible that's helped me is slowing down. So I would encourage you to slow down with Psalm 23. And if you'd like to spend the next seven days and slowly read one verse a day and um, apply that to your life, you could do so. Or you can read the entire thing. But I really think it's important for God's words to penetrate um, through you and, and get that, feed your spirit with it, because God's word is truth in a world full of deception. And when we rely on God's truth, we build a firm foundation for us, for our family, and for all of those that we influence. So tonight, today, this morning, when, whenever you're watching this, I want to encourage you with with this verse, Psalm 23, 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's pray together. God, I thank you for everybody here that's watching. God, we lift up our future to you. And although what we experience on earth is, is temporary in comparison to all eternity, we know these, these worries, these fears, these moments of doubt, uh, we know they happen. And God, we thank you that you're not afraid of our doubts. We thank you that we could wrestle with you about the things that we don't understand. And right now, we just ask that we would be reminded of your amazing promise, God, that you will be with us. God, that even when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we can fear no evil because you are with us. So I just lift up everybody watching this. God bless them. Help them be to, to be reminded of your unfailing love towards them. And I just pray for hope right now. Hope in the midst of whatever news they've just received. Hope in the midst of whatever they're going through. And let them be reminded, God, that you are with us. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Have an amazing rest of your day. God bless.